We have an unboxing today of not just any hangboard, but it's like the knockoff of the Beastmaker 1000 that you can buy on Amazon. It looks pretty professional. I don't know what the Beastmaker 1000 looks like, but it's a pretty clean packaging. It's not like a, like a cardboard box wrapped in duct tape or anything. Anyways. It's a form mainly about like safety with hangboarding. It's styrofoam. And here it is. They come with these spacers where it's like the texture is like rubber and you can just put it in to these to make the, the depth a little bit less, make your training a little bit more challenging. Different screws. It comes with these uh, drywall expander things. The original Beast Makers, I believe they don't come with these because it kind of doesn't make sense to put it in drywall. Especially if you're going to be like doing max hangs with like super heavy loads. We're here at Hangar 18 and they have hangboards there so we can test it out. I'm going to superimpose them. There's about half an inch on both sides that it doesn't cover. Do you want to get the right side? So it's a little smaller than the original. Just, uh, just give me a moment to feel it out, you know? Pretty noticeable differences. Like, okay, this is how far the beast maker goes in. I'm gonna just put my thumb here for the length and this is as far as it goes. So a lot of these, um, these depths, they're a lot shallower on this knockoff. Let's see, so here, put my thumb in for a gauge, bam. You have like half an inch that is not the same. Pretty much every single one different. Okay, this one, a little millimeter. Okay, this one is kind of close. You getting the differences? Okay. Um, something else I noticed, the top slope right here, it's like not perfectly horizontal. It's like if it's perfectly horizontal, it's like this, but this one, it's kind of like kiltered a little bit. The screw holes are all the same. Uh, something really different is like all of the holds on this, when you hit the inner edge, it kind of goes like, like that. Like there's a very defined corner. But then if you can get like a view on this, all of pretty much everything, it has like a very curved rounding to it. It's not like a very cornered machining. Yeah, so when you put, put it on, it's like you're just touching like a, like a curve. Those are the main differences, actually like a lot of differences. But shall we go into the pros and the cons? The mic died. Actually, it's a good thing that the mic died because it gave me a couple of days to think about the pros and cons of the hangboard. And I wrote it down. So number one is obviously the cost. This hangboard is $55, whereas the original is around $130. The second pro is even though this is a knockoff hangboard, the manufacturer on Amazon actually is very transparent with the edge sizes. So you can look up all of the edge sizes and I checked them at home. They're all correct. Every single edge that I checked, it was within the dimensions listed online. Even the slopers, I checked the angles. That was all good. The way I check it is usually like, I stick my finger in, and then I put my thumb like right here, pull it out, and then I measure this segment with a ruler. It's hard to like just stick a ruler into a hangboard because sometimes on your ruler, you have like that little mark that does not get the measurement quite right. And then third thing, even though the machining is kind of weird, like how I said the edges are a little curved, the wood is like solid. The build material is really good. Um, so there's no complaints about that. And so let's go to the cons. The first con and the number one con is the edge sizes are a lot different from the Beast Maker 1000, obviously. I feel like that's some kind of like legal reason that they had to make it different. Number two is there's less diversity in edge sizes. So here's like a comparison of the two boards on the Beastmaker, even though 
the edge sizes aren't like super super different there's still like some variety whereas for this knockoff brand there's like really no variety at all the second and the third row is pretty much the same thing and i wish that there was just a little bit more variety in the edge sizes that way you just have different sizes to train on then thirdly once again the edges are just like curved the good thing about this board is the size of the edges are very transparent online but if you were to actually hang on this the curve that is not machined out it's like subtracting a little bit of the size of the edge so if this is 14 millimeters i would say i'm going to hold on to realistically 13 millimeters or 12.5 millimeters just by not cutting this extra edge it just like lessens the amount of depth that you can hold on to so that's something that just bothers me a little so that's the third con all right so just final thoughts on this hangboard well i think it's a really good first hangboard for someone and that's why i actually bought it for my girlfriend um, and it's actually a good choice if you're trying to save money because you're saving like 60 to 70 bucks um, if you're not very particular with the hold sizes perfect for you so that's one perspective I would actually choose this hangboard over my first hangboard, which was the Metolius Project. This one is wooden. It'll be better on your hands compared to the plastic that the Metolius Project has. Um, I remember using the project for a really long time and I hated how like I would go to the gym and wear down my skin and the next day I would want a hangboard and I would wear down even more skin. So that kind of sucked. So those are good reasons for why you would want to pick up this hangboard. On the flip side, the whole reason why I was interested on this moonboard in the first place was because it looks so much similar to the Beastmaker 1000. If you are in the market for a Beastmaker 1000, don't get this because like for, if you have it the whole time, you'll be thinking like, oh, it's so different. Like the feeling is just so different. And even though the machining on this is pretty good, the curvature, it's like there's like minute details that make it different from the Beastmaker and the, those minute details just add up. So if you're in the market for a Beastmaker 1000, I wouldn't get it. But then if you want a cheap hangboard, a first hangboard and a hangboard where you can train on um, and you're not bothered by how different it is from the Beastmaker 1000, then it's a great choice. I would pick it over the Metolius Project, which is a hangboard for a lot of beginners. And that's it.